Welcome to Lecture 17 of the Biology 115 series, and this lecture will be entitled DNA Technology. We're going to begin this lecture by looking at a short introductory flowchart to what the term DNA technology and the idea of DNA technology really is all about. So let's start with this first very short flowchart entitled DNA Technology, and we'll just state that this is an intro. So, now that we've learned about many different complex genetic sort of lessons that involved DNA, which then involved turning that DNA into a protein, and then we looked at how that protein is regulated um, through gene expression and gene regulation, we're now going to look at some modern day applications of knowledge that we've already established in terms of DNA. Specifically, DNA technology is going to be devoted to looking at techniques that involve, so we'll write this down as techniques, so these are actual techniques that involve sequencing, so that's a new term, this is a verb, this is something a person or a computer or a machine will do, techniques that involve sequencing or manipulating DNA. So thanks to modern technology, we have the ability to take DNA, which at one point seemed like a confusing, unsolvable mystery before Watson and Crick and their fellow discoverers figured it all out. And now we actually have the ability to physically sequence and manipulate DNA in the sense that we can do two things. These techniques, this technology based off of DNA, is all based on one concept. It's all based on the idea of nucleic acid hybridization. So we'll write this down as based on nucleic acid hybridization. Now, in terms of this word, hybridization, what can we state that this means? Well, we know that hybrid is sort of a um, mix of two different things. We've seen that before when we looked at hybrid crosses, monohybrid and dihybrid. But basically what this is stating here, based on nucleic acid hybridization, this is basically stating that DNA technology is based on the idea of base pairing. And we're going to entitle that or sort of label it as BP-ING, base pairing. We're going to be seeing how DNA technology involves base pairing in later videos of this lecture. But most importantly, in order to manipulate DNA and in order to sequen sequence DNA, we have to use base pairing techniques. And these base pairing techniques are going to eventually allow something as crazy and futuristic and unbelievable as genetic engineering. This allows genetic engineering. The DNA technology that we currently have has the ability for us to engineer genes, to physically and directly manipulate genes, the direct manipulation of genes. And believe it or not, um, this is a huge, huge topic of debate in science today figuring out what are sort of the laws in terms of direct manipulation of genes. Because think about it, this is the direct manipulation of genetic and thus life's blueprint in terms of DNA. So overall, this lecture is going to be focusing on techniques. We're going to look at some interesting and very, very fancy techniques, all based on the idea of base pairing, basically nucleic acid hybridization, that means adding on nucleic acids, and then this is going to allow us to genetically manipulate things through a very fancy engineering concept that we're going to go over as we move forward with this lecture.